to today's video. My name's Emma. Make sure you subscribe for hauls and vlogs and I'm back with a bit of an organisation video and if you're new to my channel I have loads of organisation videos and I will link a playlist below that you can go and check out but if you've been around here for a while you know that obviously my clothes are on the rail and that I like to swap around my clothes for different seasons and as we're kind of heading I'm looking out the window now and it's not vaguely sunny but as we're heading towards the spring I want to start to put away some of the kind of Christmas bits and bobs and um, wintry bits and bobs so I'm going to be doing a good old organization swap around and I'm very 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 excited and we know we'll have all sorts of storage bags and all you know ways to maximize storage because we don't have a loft because I sleep in the loft and I was very excited <gasps> because JML got in touch with this vac pack go guys you know I've always been on the lookout for these so this is a portable vacuum storage system. So what I'll do first of all is I'll show you some, um, I think I'll do the really, really chunky stuff and put it in here. But basically this has got a USB port so you can even vacuum pack stuff to go on holiday. Take this with you, pop it in a USB and then vacuum pack your stuff and bring it back again. Guys, that's just like, live it. This, this, this is the kind of stuff that I live for and I'm, I'm so excited to try it. And when it came and I saw it was a USB port, I was like <gasps> So I have got a really small drawer down there that I'd like to vacuum pack some stuff and put it in. I've also got over there all my woolly jumpers that I'd like to vacuum pack and um, put that away as well. So I kind of like set the day aside. I'm gonna put on some um, some like reality TV and I'm just gonna get on with it and I'm absolutely thrilled. So we've got the backpack here, backpack go from JML. I've been sent some jumbo bags, some large bags. In this you get medium bags and small bags. Oh, I've got the whole selection. It keeps everything waterproof, airtight. Oh, you could put cushions in. The, oh, who knew I would be so thrilled to try out some new storage? I mean, these are the kind of things that get me excited. So I'm gonna start getting my clothes out and then give these a little go. Also, the very kind people at JML have left a code which I will leave in the description box below so you can get free delivery on the whole entire backpack range. But there's two really good bundles which I think would be good. I'm quite tempted to get another one to help tackle with all my pajamas. In it, you get a backpack go with two small and two medium bags. You also get a variety pack with a jumbo bag, large bag, medium bag, and a small bag for $29.99. And also for $29.99, you get a backpack go with two small and two medium bags as it comes, plus an additional variety pack of two large bags and two jumbo bags. And you get the free delivery if you have a little look below. I'll leave everything in the description box. Let's get in packing that and vacking it. Packing and vacking! I feel, I feel like I'm just a woman sat in her room, very excited about vacuum packing stuff. So I'm gonna get the, this is my messy Ottoman thing. So I'm gonna get, get all the woolly jumpers that I don't plan on wearing for a bit. Oh, <laughs> bonked myself in the face. Woolly jumpers, woolly jumpers. That I am hoping I won't need to wear too much, but you know what, if I do need to wear it, it's not the end of the world, I can just open it again, can't I? Um, what else? And then I'm gonna tie up so that can go in it. Is there anything else that's a little bit woolly? That's all my gym gear. Look at me, just like destroying everything. It's that. That. No, that's a, like... That. And that. Right, let's get it in a pile. I've made piles. I've decided I am going to keep this jumper because I do quite like that one, just in case it gets a bit chilly. Um, but the rest are going into storage. Okay, so it's plugged in. This would just be so oh so good when you go on holiday. Okay, so we pop it on here. Let's see what happens. 
happens. Ooh, it's getting all the air out. It can take about two to ten minutes, but it is getting it all, shrinking it all down. I suppose because it's full of big old woolly jumpers. Today this could be <laughs> the greatest day of our lives. Right, I'm going to get all my other bits and pieces um, back packed. So I'm going to get my jump, woolly jumpers back packed and then I will come back to you when I am tidying this, which is going to have like my gym gear. I'll put all the vacuum pack stuff at the bottom and we can go through that together. But what a day. we've got those in there I've got uh, these like my gym stuff leggings um, sports bars t-shirts tracksuit bottoms some costumes trousers and like a little top so I'm gonna see if I can fit some more in the bottom there and then I'm gonna put this back in there but I'm gonna go to my other drawer first and see what's in there the drawer over here um, and I'm wondering if I can make more fit in there. So I'm going to go through there and see if there's any spring clothes in there. And um, perhaps also vacuum pack some of those. Let me have a little look. Ooh la la, it's all my summer holiday stuff. Um, like beach dresses and stuff. So, I mean, I'm not going to need these for a while because we have... No plans on going anywhere any soon, so I'm going to um, sort through these and then file these away. There's not much spring stuff in here, uh, but I know on my rail there's a lot of Christmas stuff, like really sparkly like red dresses that I'm unlikely to wear. I never have anywhere to wear them, to be honest. Another little beach dress. Uh, I always show this every summer. You will see me go onto Instagram, so make sure you go and follow me on Instagram, and you will see me in this beach dress, which is a Primark beach dress, which is my favourite. And every year I wear it in the garden, and I've had it for so long. I love it so much. There's another one somewhere as well. They really make me giggle. So I'm gonna put all my little beach dresses and stuff. Oh, this is such a nice, this is a really nice peacock's frock. Oh, for the, the summer where we can wear stuff like this. But yeah, I certainly don't need it now. I've now sat on a tiny chair because I was finding it very uncomfortable to sit on the floor. Um, so I just thought I'd come on to tell you that um, I've made it to a little chair and I feel much more comfortable. And I have found a couple of summer frocks and this is one of my favorites. I love this. I just love this shirt, it's such a nice dress. So I found a couple of couple of springy frocks that can go, go on my rail. Um, so I'm making good progress. Okay, it's time to go through this. So, things that I am going to be storing will be kind of these this red skirt which I'm unlikely to wear again there's also like a silvery one and again like you know if I get if I if I get the urge I can always get it out of storage um I've got quite a few like little jumpers that I probably won't be wearing again um some frocks that I'm unlikely to wear again that are quite or these these are quite autumnally autumnally is that even a word got lots of spots so just gonna have a good old a good old sort through um and you know maybe the sequins ones could go away as well I'll have a little thing <laughs> right i'm gonna put some autumn clothes in a bag i'll show you what ones are going to be filed away. I'm listening to podcasts at the moment. I'm listening to um, Hello, 
I'm Jilly Smith. Off menu with Ed, Ed Gamble and uh, James Acaster, if you obviously just doesn't want to focus. Um, it's good. It's a good one. I love a podcast. Let me know if you ever want me to do a video on podcasts. Right. Wowie woo -wah. Cut all this space. You people out there, give me ideas of how to section this. Because it just all gets mixed up. I'm tempted to get Stephen to um, do some of his clothes to put underneath. Um, but I've got like my trousers, sports bras and gym gear. Because um, I do go running and... We try to go dance once a week, so. And also, maybe I should just start wearing leisure wear for comfiness sake. I thought I'd use the last little bit of the video to talk about some of the stuff that I will be rocking in spring, my 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 favorites. First of all, if you wanna know where these hangers are from, I get mine from Primark, but I have ordered ones for the kids before on Amazon, so. Yeah, Primark hangers, they're very good. Right, for spring, I generally wear a lot of midi skirts, I love this mustard mini skirt. I've also got a lot of spotty mini skirts. I've got a lot, a lot of spots at the moment. I recently got, I mean this, <laughs> it's not very springy actually. That was a bad example. I meant this is a better example. So with this for spring, I would pair it with just some black converse with no tights on, um, just some nice sunglasses, a nice handbag. It's got a bit of yellow in. I really like wearing Converse with dresses. I like wearing Converse with little skirts as well. I do have saltwater sandals, which will come out when it's much sunnier. They're kind of the things I tend to stick to. I've got a lot of dresses. I love a little bit of animal prints. Um, ma mainly it's animal prints and spots. I tell you what I have been enjoying. I've been enjoying, oops, a daisy, a jumpsuit. So I got this flowery jumpsuit from ASOS. It's I think they have it. This one's from ASOS. You just shove a t-shirt underneath it. Again, with some Converse and then maybe um, some Birkenstocks or some saltwater sandals, if you fancy. I've never really done a kind of um, outfit. What are they called? Like a lookbook. Maybe I should do a lookbook. Maybe I should. But at the moment, it's just midi skirts. be midi skirts with t-shirts and little frocks with Converse. So that's kind of what I'm planning to get on spring if i see any spring stuff or if i go on asos and maybe i might do a little spring haul perhaps soon i will put that up and i'll also pop it on my insta stories so you can go and check out the kind of stuff i've been buying i generally show the stuff that looks good on me and also the stuff that doesn't look good on me because sometimes that can look good on you i really hope you've enjoyed this video give it a massive thumbs up if you have i also i'm going to give you a high five if you'd subscribe and don't forget to let me know in the comments how I can separate that big Ottoman thing out. I'd like that separate, or do I need to put that somewhere else and get proper drawers maybe? Maybe this is the time to get some proper drawers in the bedroom and not have to like rustle through everything. It's just that it was a wedding present, you know, it's just a bit sentimental. Maybe I could put it in the garage and store with the stuff, but I'm just rambling. See you later guys, bye.